I miss real R and B artists, mm. and I'm not trying to take anything away from what he did. It's a great mm-hmm. project. I see where you getting But at. I'm miss like, where the fuck are they? Music. Like, I think what you're speaking to are musicians. He's a musician. No, yeah. yeah, he's very talented. He yeah. he can create. Like Snooze is a timeless song yeah. that you can hear his DNA in that song once yeah. you hear his music. Yeah. you get what I'm saying. Like that's his song. Scissor just sang that shit. <laughs> you can like that's how I feel when I hear Snooze. But what I mean is like. We, 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 and I know this is probably sound like a broken record. A lot of people have said this over the years. <laughs> like, we just, where's the male R&B? That's the thing. But it's hard for me to have these conversations and try to lower the bar and try to lower my standard yeah. to be like, oh, yeah, this is great. It's, it's good. Mm-hmm. It's really good. Yeah. And he's really good at what he does. But it's hard for me to have a conversation and compare him or, 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 yeah, nah, that ain't it. I mean, yeah, niggas know. ain't it. I'm you in should, alignment with so, that. So, so, you, you should never lower the bar, like the, at the all. The bar so like, low. But should. that's what I'm saying. I feel, I feel like, and and this is a great conversation to give him the light and the respect that he deserves. I'm not trying to take anything away from him, yeah. but I'm also trying to maintain my integrity on what I believe a great R&B artist to be. Yeah. And I'm not saying he's not great at what it is that he does, he but is. what a great R&B artist is is a total package. There's... If you can't dance and it's only a few outliers and niggas that can't dance that I want to hear sing, like I I can't I can't keep forcing these conversations personally. Yeah. And I, and I, yeah. obviously we did you what we were supposed he, to do. He got to dance. The nigga got to dance. Yeah, bro. Like, yeah. Are y'all, are y'all, are y'all, hearing, are y'all hearing his toes shift? I'm tired. No, but it ain't, a, it ain't about that. This just feels like a thing. passion project mm-hmm. or like a hobby that yeah. he did because he could yeah. do it and got the talent. But like Chris Brown said. It's the era of ugly R and B niggas. He said yeah. that niggas. Yes, I agree. He said R and B ain't there. Y'all niggas is ugly. Wait, he he meant. <laughs> oh shit! I thought he meant like ugly crying, like crying no, to your no, joint no, back. No. Like oh no. my girl back. We I need like a heartthrob. We okay. need a new artist that's gonna make you jealous when your girl's like, oh my god, and you're just like, nah, fuck that nigga. Like we need yeah. that. He needs to be desirable. He needs to be a powerhouse. I'm tired of the crooning. Like, I even hate when people call Drake a singer, and I love Drake so much. Yeah. But it's like, let's stop doing that. Can hold Usher is a singer. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Drake mm-hmm. is a crooner, and we... you have to put technology on that shit. Even Bryson Tiller. <laughs> even Bryson. Mm-hmm. He... But I love him. It, me too. He makes great so, music. Yeah. I think but he, he makes... made an impact to the culture to the point that it's like, ah, I can it's, let you rap. He shifted. He exactly. yeah. 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 created a like, whole subgenre of R&B. Which is dope, but it also kind of opened in the door for niggas who don't do what Bryson does as well to do it. Yeah. And, and it's lowered the standard and that's where we're at. even yeah. more. Mm-hmm. So now it's opened the floodgates for all these niggas to be like, oh shit, Bryson is not the best singer, but he's making dope R&B music. I could just get in the booth and just do whatever, throw some auto tune on it. It's like, nah, bro. Like, I, you can't do it like Bryson. Like, he's writing his shit. Yeah. Too. Like, <laughs> I believe that Lucky Day is the closest that we have to that yeah. traditional R&B superstar. Yeah. But I don't it's think... It's not enough of me. Well, I don't, yeah, no, it, it, no, it's, it's not it's, enough. It's yeah. not, not enough. enough. Yeah. It's not enough. Yeah. I think he's just the closest. Yeah. yeah. yeah he's the I closest agree with to that. it, but I yeah. don't think it hasn't crossed. You know who gonna take it? Who? Wanye's sons. They're good. Wanye's I met them at my sons, job. they gonna mm-hmm. save R&B. They're really good. They, they sound just like they dad. They gonna save R&B. About four of them, too. One of them gonna have puberty and be the heartthrob and they... Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Well, sort of like like how eras have changed, I do think the kids find some of that dancing shit to be corny. And and it's like, if these are the new fans that they have to curate to and, and create for... Nah, it's, cause they when, love when, Chris when, Brown I was gonna say women are never gonna not want a nigga that could dance. Like I mm. love so a if, dancing funny nigga. Are you dumb? Anomalies. If you're making music <laughs> to impress Maybe other men when one. you're singing, then you ain't doing R and B right. Mm. Nah, because sure. an R and B artist goes into the booth to make sure the ladies are satisfied, yes. however they come out. I hear what you're saying. Just hear my point, right? If we're gonna give Bryson Tiller the credit for creating the subgenre, mm-hmm. which then created more artists from that vein, Bryson Tiller wasn't dancing. There's a new fan base, mm-hmm. right, <laughs> that likes what they like from Bryson Tiller. Yeah. And it has nothing to do with dancing. For sure. yeah, yeah. It has more to do with vibes, curation. Not just vibes, how you place, his, yeah. his songwriting. Like, yeah, for you sure. haven't heard Absolutely. an R&B artist write with such conviction like that since yeah. R. Kelly. I'm not even going to lie to you. No, that might I know be you, a hot he nasty, but it's true. Yeah, no, like, yeah. Bryson sings with such conviction. You like, damn, yo, like, I might really go stalk that bitch right now. Like, <laughs> yo, tell him don't come back, you mind. Like, yeah. Bryson just does it for me personally. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You, you know he means every 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 note. word. Yeah. Like yeah. 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 And you know, toxicity is, is taking over. 
That's like with Brent. It works for Brent Fires. He's not the best singer. He's not a powerhouse vocalist, but the the songwriting. Excuse me? What'd you say? You don't like him? I don't like him either. I said, we we disagree already for the first time. At the first, at first, 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 disagree. I've been debating him for that for years. That's okay. A lot of people don't. I'm not mad. I'm not mad. I get it. I get it. See, Savon is a fan of the Joes, the Neos, Mario, the Marios. And me as well. Me as well, though. But I will say, I grant some leave. See for the new acts because no. nah. they don't come from that era. Yeah. But the bar was so high, like I'm yeah. not gonna lie to you. Wasn't you the, know, yeah. you know what was a visual representation of that shit? Mm-hmm. The verses between Mario and Amorio. Yeah. Absolutely. Mario Absolutely. basically went there on a vengeance, like, oh y'all niggas push me out for this shit. Yeah. All right, watch yeah. and fucking <laughs> embarrass the fuck fact. out of Amorion, which goes to show like a real singer is never gonna go out of style. But you, we could agree that the bar for rap is lowered as well, right? Oh, they're, oh, not, yeah. they're not doing third verses. Absolutely. So that's, that's my whole point. Yeah, where it's like bro. as we continue to grow from era to era, I don't know if that's gonna still be the. Concept it's our of job to, it's, it's our job yeah. to hold the standard as the experts and you know the media people. That's yeah. our job because if we keep extent. on lowering it to, yeah. with the public, yeah. like they don't know what's going on. They don't understand the music business that's impacting right. music too. They yeah. don't understand, so right. we have to speak on it. Our mind got to write on the artist. You yeah. got to talk about the artist. You feel yeah. me? I got to create the content for the artist. Like we cannot do what the public is doing because they don't know better. Yeah. So we have to write off subgenres. I, I, I have no horse in, I have no horse in this race. Not necessarily. I'm just trying to get us to think outside the box a little. Not necessarily, but like I get what Savon is saying. Like mm-hmm. I see a lot of people praising the Leon Thomas project, and I think it was well, and I I think it was a good project, and I think he is super talented. But will I be talking about it again later? Yeah. Probably not. <laughs> it's it's it, it doesn't make me feel the way 8701 made me feel. <laughs> you feel me? Or, and we were young or as fucking shit. Year of the Gentleman made me feel. How we feel? So when do you guys Chris think Brown. y'all are gonna? Yeah, thank you. When do y'all? When do y'all think I gonna get that back? I, 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 I don't, I, I, I don't think it's coming back. Age. I don't. <laughs> like, come on. I, I don't think it's coming and when, back. No, Eris. Thank you. Ti and Tiny's daughter. They are gonna use like that her. settlement money to develop her. They gonna salute save to that R&B. black family. Yep. Seventy Shout million dollars. Okay. Eris and the Juan Juan Moore. Mm. They coming. Armand, you said you don't think it's coming back. I don't. I, I just don't <laughs> see anyone like. I, and let me not generalize. Like there sure. are a lot of. R&B acts who do care that much, like uh, Kenyon Dixon. He is incredible. Yes, he I, I love. He's great. Kenyon Dixon. He's post. He, he posted videos of him doing dance routines. Mm-hmm. He's he's out here covering everybody's songs. He's he's touring, like releasing EPs and like '90s version of his EPs and '80s versions of it. Like he he loves music and he's he's doing all types of different shit. Yeah. But just unfortunately, we or the 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 labels. The culture, the media, we don't elevate the most talented people. We yeah. we elevate the most popular, popular. Yep. the shit that's going to get us the most clicks and the most traction. Mm-hmm. And so as much as we, we can do everything we can to uplift the most talented people, but also consumers have so much individualism and autonomy now, right. they don't have to listen to us. They can just go listen to whatever the fuck they want and pump whatever they want. And these playlists are going to put out the shit that's going to get them the most traction too. So it's right. like... I, as as much as we may try, mm-hmm. it, it it may not be uh, effectual. Like I yeah. believe it. It also starts with the artist, right? Like if you are a singer or whatever R and B artist, you aspire to be that, and your reference point to music is a Chris Brown. Mm-hmm. It's going to shape how you are. Or a Bryson Tiller is going to shape how you create your music. Yeah. And it's no knock to Bryson or Chris Brown. But if you ask Chris Brown where his roots come from, he's going to tell you Michael Jackson. Mm-hmm. He's going to tell you New Edition. He's going to tell you the foundation of what the essence is of R&B music. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What R&B slash a pop star is. For sure. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I think going back, like we have these conversations on the pod all the time mm-hmm. about prerequisites in music, mm-hmm. right? You don't need them. All you need is a microphone, yeah. some a beat, an engineer, and, and you go. go. But I think R and B, you need to go back to Stevie Wonder. Yeah. You yes. need to be able to reference a Luther, Luther Vandross. It doesn't mean you have to make music like them, yeah. but you need to see what a it. full package is yeah. from vocal ability to background vocals to the song structure mm-hmm. to knowing how to make a bridge. Like You just need to have that history of music yeah. to create that type of star. I don't believe that it's gone forever because yeah. I believe history will repeat itself at mm-hmm. some point. Like yep. We'll get one of them ones who stick out. But today, I think the problem is the dudes who, who, who appear or want to have sex appeal 
they lean too heavy in the being too sexy. Mm-hmm. Like, like now, like nigga, you turning you me away. Like R- who? Like we mean? talked about an album cover, the Lloyd oh. album cover. <laughs> oh. You know what I'm saying? That was the not, one time he did one, that though. I, but there's a lot of new. Who, who's the dude my sister loves? It's it's <laughs> Bryant. No, Say he, cool. No, he 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 was um. <laughs> He um, makes the weird faces when he sings, light skinned looking dude. Oh, oh Trevor, Trevor Jackson? Jackson? Trevor Jackson. Trevor Jackson. He's one, right? And okay. like, it, it's certain artists who just try to be a little too sexy. 